What is it like to live in Kuala Lumpur? At 5 p.m. I go back and I continue working from home. What's the biggest advantage of living in Kuala Lumpur? It's nice. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so nice? Why? This channel is based in Thailand. We're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and now we are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And in this episode, we're gonna find out what it is like to live and work in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Can I ask you what you're doing here? Uh, I'm working in an insurance company. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how is it to live in Kuala Lumpur? Do you have a family and all that? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. family is staying here. Okay. It's like one hour drive from here. Oh, so far? Uh, due to the traffic and all that. Ah. Otherwise, it'll be probably take about 30 minutes yeah. or so. Yeah. Do you travel every day back and forward? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow. But my company is so generous to allow us to work from home like twice oh. a week. Oh, so okay. we have that flexibility. Is that a, a normal thing, let's say, in Kuala Lumpur to work remote a little bit partly? Yeah, or? a lot of people do that. Oh. Not everybody stay in the city itself. Yeah. Some are like, you know, they have settled down like from, I think, outskirts, yeah. uh, but it requires driving. Some will take yeah. public transportation and ah, all that. Are you driving or? I, I'm, driving. Ah. I'm driving. How many hours do you work a week? At school by day. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we work like eight hours per day. Since yeah. the pandemic, uh -huh. uh, a lot of companies have moved into work from home and all that. Okay. So I think with that, the work balance is somehow balanced okay. compared to previously where people are required to be in the office all the time. Do you work six days or five or six days? Uh, five days. Okay. Five oh. days. But with two or three days working at home, I think it's fine. Okay. If you ask me this question, like maybe five years ago, things were different. Yeah. Now with the advancement in the technology and all that, ah. VPN, you can just yeah. log in from wherever you are and you can continue working. What's the biggest advantage of living in Kuala Lumpur? You can see for yourself, everything is centered at one place. So you don't really have to go far, you know be it for work related or even to to get food you want to go shopping and all that it's just like walking distance yeah, yeah. yeah. is there a, a disadvantage of working and living here busy traffic yeah. it can really take a long time that could actually you know expose to some kind of stress yeah. uh, traveling stress yeah. and all that i see people also like very kind people here in kuala lumpur uh -huh. but stressful in the in traffic yeah the traffic yes yeah. the traffic condition is quite bad especially when it's raining yeah yeah actually it's start to rain soon yeah. so i don't hold you up any longer can i ask yeah. you one favor sure, sure. you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on could be anything uh -huh. please do not hurt animals please take care you know give them food give shelter you know because i think animals also deserve to be in the planet so that's the message I have for everybody in the world. Yeah, I'm from Kedah, okay. North, northern region of Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, I've been here since 2018. We're basically trying to find out how it is like to work and live in Kuala Lumpur. It's a fun city. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, if you like nightlife, yeah, you, you have everything here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good place to travel, ah. and the people are friendly and the good. Uh, the food is nice. Can I ask you what are you doing uh, here? I'm uh, as a banker here. I think. It's a good profession here, yeah. yeah, a good pay. What do you do on your days off? No, I usually play futsal, play football, oh. yeah, hang out with my friends and yeah. all, yeah. How many hours do you work a week? I don't have any limit for working. Okay. I can work 24 hours a day. I, I can wow. work, yeah, over time, I don't mind, yeah. So how many hours do you normally do a week? I wake up at 6, around 7.40, I'm already here. Okay. Sometimes I work, like right now, at 5 p.m. I go back. And I continue working from home. No way! Yeah, until oh, late night. Is this yeah. normal as a banker? Or? Y yeah. Do you plan to live somewhere else than Kuala Lumpur? Or are you planning to stay here for... I think home? I'll retire here. You have a family now? Yes. Ah. I bought a house in Putrajaya. Okay, yeah. nice. So I, I definitely stay here. Yeah. Is your wife working also? Yes, she was working full time, working from home. Yeah. Oh, working from home. Yeah. Is it possible here as a banker to just like supply your family alone or does your wife kind of have to work in the, the let's say the life that you're living here i can support my family well yeah. but sometimes if you want to add more like traveling more i think she needs to add some yeah. add some more do you travel also to other countries yeah mostly indonesia just yeah. nearby like, for now yeah yeah, true. yeah do you go to thailand sometimes or so, uh i was uh, i'm from Kedah. Kedah is near thailand yeah. So I've been there a few quite times. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. This city is very friendly. Yeah. yeah. I mingle with my work, uh, my friends. Yeah. 
from our colleagues, you know, we play futsal. Yeah. We play sports together, we hang out, play bowling so, uh, during weekends and all. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a fun city. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, me as a foreigner, we are looking at maybe staying a little bit longer here in Kuala Lumpur because yeah. we really like it here. Yeah. Do you mingle also with foreigners? Of course, I'm open to, oh, well, we, uh, Malaysians are not racist. Yeah. yeah, we can mingle with everyone. If you want to hang out with me, you can have my number. We can go out anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, if Play some futsal. Yeah, play some food, so I'll bring you cafe hunting, ah, and all. Yeah. yeah, we have a good food, we have yeah. good culture here. What's the best thing you would say of, uh, let's say, the big advantage of living in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, other than uh, that the pay is pretty good over here. Compared to other cities, it is much more well developed. We have uh, good public, public transport. Is there something that is maybe a, a, maybe a disadvantage living in Kuala Lumpur? I know that some of them are rich, some of them are middle class person, okay. some of them are low class. Uh, for the look, maybe some people are desperate to get money, so they tend to to do robberies and all. Yeah, these are one of the disadvantages of living in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. The thieves and all, yeah. There the are the yeah, also, uh, yeah. yeah. But I think overall, I mean, I see a lot of police, I feel quite safe here. Yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. But there's still theft and well, obviously there's everywhere. Oh, yeah. But uh, so is there also quite a bit of poverty here then you would say or? I think, yeah, I think it happens in all cities. Yeah. 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 I, even though I've, I haven't gotten a chance to go to Europe, or, but I know there are still people living on the streets. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. I see quite a few charities active right now that are supplying for food yeah. and all that. So that's a good thing. Many people from all over, also different parts of Asia are coming to Kuala Lumpur because there's better pay over here. Uh, I don't think this is a problem, but do you see, yeah, do you see something in the city developing that is maybe going downhill? I don't mind people working here. Yeah. We, Malaysia, we welcome everyone to work here. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you are, uh, we have, I think we have Filipinos, we have uh, Thailand, yeah. people, Indonesians, Bangladeshis, and Pakistanis, and all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They also bring the food. Yeah. Yeah. They will, they serve people as well. Yeah. yeah they, sometimes, some are good, some of them are good, some of them, you know, people, different everyone. parts. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Uh, I've got one more question. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Do good to people. You know, if you have any, some sort of a bad attitude, just leave it. Yeah, you know, do good to people. Be good, be kind. Yeah, the world is a good place to live, yeah. Born and raised in KL? Yes. Nice. So what is it like to live and work in Kuala Lumpur? That's the main topic. So can I ask you what, what you're doing? I'm work is a hotelier, oh. Swiss Captain Hotel. Oh yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, how long are you already doing this? My age is uh, 19 until now. Oh wow, okay. So your whole life you are in the hotel industry. Yes. Uh -huh. nice. So what is it like to live in Kuala Lumpur? My parents still here. Uh -huh. I live here. So I think better I live here. If uh, you and husband work, it's okay huh? for you. If okay. one person work, cannot. Is it because it's uh, too yeah, expensive? Yes, yeah, very expensive. So do you have a partner, can I ask? Pardon? Do you have a, a husband? Or? Yes, yeah. I have a husband so and I have uh, two child. Ah, wow. Mm -hmm. Look, that's, that's nice. Yes. And how old are your children? 24, my son. Oh, wow. Yes. Already? Yes. And <laughs> then uh, second, my daughter, 20. Wow. And uh, uh, they go to school, I, I Yes, uh-huh. Ah. Uh, for the uh, Yum City ah. now. Is that um, expensive to for them uh, to... Very expensive. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. So the government, is uh, are they paying at all or a little bit? Uh, or? Do you travel a little bit in Southeast Asia at all? Uh, actually, uh, I go to Singapore because my mother is uh, Singaporean. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, only Singapore I go there. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you don't go to Thailand? At the... uh, not yet. Do you have a lot of holidays or are you working a lot? First, I want to finish my child study first. Oh. Uh, later, maybe uh, six, six years ago, uh, above, and then I can go travel. Okay. Uh, first, I manage my son yeah. first. So uh, you and your husband both working hard to, yes, to make your... Uh, yes, uh, for child first. Yeah. Okay, on the uh. sixth year, all finished. 
the study and uh-huh. then maybe you can go others what we want to yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good you, but you're managing yes oh. you you must know how to manage i have been from seven years seven years already? yes yeah ah, so you are you're basically local now no 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 you don't say no <laughs> see the phone uh. why did you come here in the first place but just to earn some money yeah fair because enough. in back home there are not so many jobs no, that's why no, came fair. here yeah you go back home sometimes or yeah, yeah i go three times Three times a year? No, no. Oh. Three times in seven years. Yeah, okay, yeah. And you're planning already to go back, or? Yeah. Uh, after after this Eid, uh, next two months I will go back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. You have family here or family back home? Family back home. Oh, wow. That must be difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. Oh man. But not, not I'm not married, so it's not oh, difficult for okay. me. But you have kids? No, not oh. married yet. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good for me. How is it to be like a single man in Kuala Lumpur? It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so nice? Why? <laughs> you, you know, it's men talk. Ah, uh, men talk. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. The ladies are watching also. Kuala Lumpur, you say overall is very nice to live. Yeah, it's it's na- nice weather, not so hot, not yeah. so cold, not yeah. sc- security concerns, not racism and these kind of yeah. things. Yeah, uh, it's nice. G- good to hear. Yeah, yeah. I, fe- I feel also that everyone is just mingling together and feel w- yeah. really welcome. Huh? Uh, you, you can see around there are so many ethnic so many people from yeah. different part of the world yeah no it um what what to say no hate for other people Th- no. all live together what are you doing exactly actually what are you cooking or i'm just uh, chef in kitchen <laughs> just chef again that, that's a good job no why not nah it's good other than the money what are the big benefits of living in kuala lumpur there are so many things to learn here and see the first world kind of first world like we come from a third world country like pakistan there are so many you know, not uh, these kind of big buildings and not trains like not modern modern country but here we can see so many things and learn about future okay, else like like the future compared to pakistan yeah. you think pakistan is behind behind 10 years mm-hmm. pakistan india bangladesh there are no not so much facilities and hair roads are clean yeah. there are so many dirt, dirt is, it, is it easy for someone from pakistan to work here what's needed for this if you have what job and you come here and work it's okay. you need to be invited by an yeah. employer or something yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. what is it like to live and work in kuala lumpur malaysia i think we found a nice mixture of people to get an understanding what it is really like I think the people are generally happy over here. This channel is not only showing you content in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. No, we are based in Thailand. We're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia. And now, now we are actually heading towards, slowly towards Singapore. And then we're flying back to Bangkok. We're carrying on showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia, not only through travel vlogs, but also showing you different people's point of views on life while doing these street interviews i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching till the very end i would like to say from the capital city of malaysia in kuala lumpur bye for now and stay champ